Hey there! It's been 78 years since World War II ended, but military artifacts are still found all around the world. In this video, we are going to tell you some stories about the incredible World War II finds. Let's get right to the chase! A soldier. Russian searchers carried out an expedition to Karelia to search for soldiers who had fallen during the World War II. Soviet soldiers fought with Finnish troops in these places. A medical burial place of the Red Army soldiers has been found during the expedition. It contained the remains of 19 people who had died of their wounds while on their way to a military hospital. Among the many personal belongings, a death medallion was found. It contained a note written in pencil with the soldier's personal information. It turned out that the note didn't belong to the anyone of the dead, but to someone related to one of these soldiers. These data helped to identify the name of one of the deceased. It turned out that he was from the city of Leningrad. A lot of ammunition belonging to the deceased was also found in the grave, as well as medical supplies. One of the most interesting finds was a small glass bottle in which iodine has been preserved. This spring, the diggers will again go in search of missing World War II soldiers to bury them with honors in military cemeteries. Excavations in Germany a search for fallen Soviet and German soldiers took place in Germany several years ago. It was a joint expedition of the participants from a number of different countries. Searchers from Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, Germany and the Baltic countries took part in the excavations and a lot of work was done. In one of the destroyed dugouts some Soviet soldiers and officers were found. All of them had awards with which their names could be identified. One of the officers had two medals on his chest. One was the Red Star Order and the other was the very rare Alexander Nevsky Order. It was awarded to Red Army commanders for outstanding achievements in organizing and directing military operations and for success achieved as a result of these operations. It's probable that the dugout in which the dead bodies were found belonged to the staff of one of the Soviet divisions. These young men didn't make it to the end of the war for only a couple of weeks. Now their names are known and they are buried in a military cemetery. The Pistols In Poland, while renovating a house in Slupsk, some pistols happened to be found. The Mauser C-96 and Vis-35 were perfectly preserved. They were wrapped in oil-soaked rags. They were hidden between the ceiling beams of a townhouse in the center of the city. Currently, the weapons are with the police under investigation. But museum workers not only from Slupsk, but from other museums want the weapons in their collections. The weapon was found by chance by construction workers who were renovating the attic, says Robert Chivinsky, the head of the Slupsk police. At one glance you can see that it is in very good condition. It's really something for the experts. The magazine and ammunition were with the gun. Now the gun goes to an expert. We need to be sure that it has not been used in a crime. It is interesting to know that this is not the only such find. Recently a Mauser C-96 was found during the renovation of a house in the academic district. They all know the Mauser had hidden it under the floor. It is not in such good condition, though. The Slupsk police have already received permission from the prosecutor's office to donate both guns to the Polish Army Museum. Yakuan Airplane In the summer of 2020, Russian diggers recovered a Soviet plane from the ground, presumably a Yak-1 fighter. The remains of the pilot were also found. Most likely, the pilot died on August 25, 1942. On this day, nine of Soviet bombers and six Yak-1 fighters took off from the airfield in Livni. 
Their target was the airfield and station of Kastorne, an important railway junction that allowed the Germans to supply their troops at Stalingrad. Having destroyed about 30 German aircraft, they headed back to Livni. At that moment, they were attacked by a large group of German fighters. Eight bombers and two Yak-1 were shot down. The searchers managed to track the fate of several crew members. Four pilots were captured, one was buried by local residents. The fate of the rest is unknown. The wreckage of the found Yak-1 laid at a depth of four meters. The diggers managed to find several fragments of the pilot's bones, part of a flight helmet and a glove. They plan to find the remaining aircraft and establish the names of the pilots. Gas AA Truck In 2015, the legendary Gas AA lorry was discovered by Karelian searchers in the forest. More precisely, everything that remained of it after the battles of Winter War in 1941. Parts of the truck showed multiple bullet holes. Probably a column of Soviet troops was ambushed and defeated. The Finns took all the working vehicles as a trophy, and this gas remained in the forest for 75 years. With great difficulty, the searchers managed to pull the core parts out of the forest for restoration. Many of them are rare because the lorry's cabin was made of wood, and the fenders and headlights were made of very thin metal that quickly decays in the open air. For example, over the past few years, several cars have been lifted out of the water near St. Petersburg, but only the frame with wheels and the engine with gearbox remained intact. The body and the cab were almost completely destroyed by water. In October of this year, another such truck was raised from the bottom of Ladaga. The body was partially preserved, but the cabin was broken. The car didn't reach Leningrad and stopped forever only 8 kilometers away, where it was attacked by enemy aircraft. Divers found pieces of burlap at the bottom. Presumably, the car was carrying bread or flour to the besieged city. Let's hope that the lorry can be restored to running condition. Fock Wolf FW-190 The Kurgan search party discovered the wreckage of the German Fock Wolf 190 fighter in the Panirovsky district. The remains of the pilot and his personal belongings were also found. During World War II in the summer of 1943, a German plane was shut down and fell into a kitchen garden just 50 meters from a residential building. The search party worked three days at the crash site. The clay soil has well preserved the aircraft parts. The engine was 8 meters deep. We also managed to find a plate with the engine number. Now the pilot's name needs to be established to inform his relatives in Germany. The pilot is most likely reported missing. Messerschmitt BF-109 In the spring of 2016, a search group discovered the crash site of Messerschmitt 109 with a pilot in the Krasnodar region. Spilled technical fluids served as an excellent preservative for aircraft parts and pilot himself. Many personal belongings and a parachute were found. On the pilot's finger there was a gold ring with a family coat of arms. The pilot's name was established by a personal badge found. He was a young and inexperienced pilot and died on one of his first flights. The remains and personal belongings were transferred to the German side. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe to the channel not to miss new videos.